Hey guys, Jared back. Alrighty, so this video is to show you how to install OmniROM onto your Nexus 5. I don't normally like doing these how to install videos because it's just so dead simple, but some people still need a visual aid and um, I've been requested in the past to do this. Nevertheless, uh, so first things first, I have two links in the description below this video, one of which is to the OmniROM um, uh, XD developers page for your Nexus 5. So in there, you're gonna download the ROM itself. Uh, it's not hard to find the link, believe me. So download the ROM and then uh, connect your phone to your PC and then just go ahead and drag and drop that file onto your device's internal storage. Next link in the description below the video is to G apps. In fact, the paranoid Android um, G apps package. Now they aren't modified uh, G apps applications. They're just basic, like the stock uh, G apps applications. And that's just generally where I go to download my G apps packages when I need to. Um, and you're going to click on, I would recommend the full package and then just download the 4.4 version because there are several different versions like a 4.2, 4.3 and 4.4. Make sure that you download 4.4 version because this is based off of obviously Android 4.4. Once you've done that, go ahead and push that to your device using the same method that we use to uh, push the ROM file to your device. I'm um, just drag and drop it basically. Now, once that's the case uh, and you've done all that, we're going to want to make sure that we jump into recovery. So be it either team win recovery, which is my favorite or clockwork mod recovery. Okay. Uh, and then what I like to do before wiping the device is actually jumping into install. Um, and I'll just actually back out of here. Whoops. I'll just go up a couple levels. Uh, I like to go into install into my internal storage to look and make sure that the actual file is in fact there because there's nothing worse than actually wiping your device and then realizing that the ROM didn't actually transfer over properly and now you've got a wiped device with no ROM to install. Um, so as you can see, we do in fact actually have the ROM ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and click back. We're gonna click on wipe and we're gonna be wiping the data, the cache, as well as the Delvet cache. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swipe across Okay, go ahead and click on back now that we've done that. I'm gonna click on install. Um, for you guys, it's gonna be internal storage. I'm just using USB OTG right now because I have my Mi Nova uh, micro SD to micro USB. Um, anyways, so as you can see here, we've got this ROM selected. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. Now, generally speaking with Team and Recovery Project, I would click on add more zips and then um, go ahead and add my G app so that I can just swipe across and it adds both of them. But I know a lot of people are gonna be using Clockwork Mod Recovery. So I'm gonna be doing this one at a time. So we're just gonna go ahead and flash the ROM itself and as you can see the ROM is starting to flash um, be patient it'll take um, I don't know a few minutes so just give it a bit and we'll come back once the ROM is finished flashing alrighty so the ROM itself is finished flashing so what we're gonna do is click on home click on install again and um, for me I'm actually gonna be moving up a level and uh, now that you flash the ROM search for that GX package that you downloaded so for me as you can see in here it says paranoid um, Android GX full 4.4 Four. So make sure that you select the 4.4 version and we're just going to go ahead and swipe across and that shouldn't take too long to install at all. So we'll be back in just a moment. Alrighty, and installation is now complete. As you can see from that point on, all you have to do is simply click on reboot system. And as you can see, we are now booting into OmniROM. There's the OmniROM uh, boot animation. There's a little Android guy with his eyes blinking every now and then. Now, once you first flash a ROM, the first boot always takes about five minutes. It always takes a little bit longer, so don't freak out. Everybody always freaks out uh, at the beginning of flashing a ROM for the first time, and uh, the first boot always takes a while. It's got to build a bunch of stuff in the background. So, But anyways, guys, that's that's it. That's all it takes. In a few moments now, it'll boot into the setup wizard, and um, that'll be it. Your ROM is installed, and you're ready to go. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, well, click that likes button down below. If I don't see uh, too many views on this or too many likes buttons, I probably won't be doing it how to install videos anymore because they just seem cumbersome for me because it's just so easy. It's the exact same installation method for pretty much every single ROM um, out there for Android. Um, anyways, that's it though, guys. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, click the likes button again uh, if you want to see more install videos to accompany these ROM videos. Um, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos. But that's it. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.